haven't seen this many cases, Jamie, since the new year. All right, taking a closer look at the numbers now. So the county saw more than 2,000 cases just in the last week. The rolling case rate, 446 cases per 100,000 people. Here's the other thing. More people are ending up in the hospital. So 100... Uh, people have been hospitalized in the county. Nine of those required ventilators also just in the last week. And health officials want everyone to see this right here, especially people who are not vaccinated. 96% of the people in the ICU in the county are unvaccinated. The vaccine being just incredibly important, not only in, in preventing infection, but probably more importantly, preventing severe infection that could uh, require intensive care unit, mechanical ventilation, or even death. That message about the vaccine could be directed at some first responders in the county. Snohomish Regional Fire and Rescue, with 260 emergency responders, was only 58% vaccinated as of last week. And many of those firefighters don't want to be forced to get the shot by Governor Inslee and his vaccine mandate for health care workers. Their union fired off a letter to the governor, which reads in part, we oppose the mandatory vaccination requirement that strips our members' right to choose when and if they should become vaccinated, adding the vaccine mandate could result in the loss of essential workers. The county's top health official said this about their position. Uh, it's certainly it's concerning if, if we, uh, you know, lose emergency response workers uh, because they uh, become ineligible to work on October 18 uh, because they haven't been vaccinated. That's going to um, not only be difficult for them, but, uh, you know, potentially harmful for the community and our capacity to respond to emergencies. While cases are skyrocketing along with hospitalizations, on a state level, deaths are up, but only slightly. So this right here, this is from the Department of Health and it shows daily deaths. And the line that you see, that's the seven day average. So it peaked right here at 41 deaths. That was last winter. Right now, which is right here, it's down at seven deaths per day and holding steady. Although DOH says deaths from the last three to four weeks may not be reported yet.